Today, I have a bunch of good news for you. with the first one. If you are one of the ones that ordered a bendy pot a year ago, I am really close to actually shipping all of them. Uh, there's a lot of you that have bendy pots on their way. This morning took a bunch of packages. The last batch of parts needs, just needs to be anodized. Hopefully by week's end, I will have all the shipping labels uh, printed out and so you'll have a better idea when you will get your bendy pot. Thank you again for every single person that have ordered one and stuck with it a year. I know it's a long time to be waiting for that. So I definitely have the best customers and supporters in the world to be able to take that long to develop a product and finally get it out to you, right? News number two, I have a bunch of reviews coming up. Uh, this company, Muhu. Uh, solar charge controller. I will be reviewing those products very soon. Another one of the products that I have that I'm really excited about are these. These are 18650 battery holders. Unlike the other ones that you've seen in my channel, I really like these. These are capable of putting a ton and ton of power out through the connections here is because they have a very, very solid connection. I have a bunch of other reviews for a bunch of gear that I've gotten, but today the biggest good news is that the batteries are ready to start shipping out. And which batteries am I talking about? Well, those are the batteries that I announced on my 100,000 subscriber video. You know, there's a little bit of kinks here that we have now, I think for the most part worked out. Everyone that ordered batteries from that one video has now gotten their batteries and should be now getting ready to play with them, install them in their power walls or whatever other project they uh, are thinking of doing with them. So let's talk about these batteries. What kind of batteries are these? Well, these are used recycled lithium uh, ion batteries. They're nickel manganese cobalt chemistry to be more exact. These are gonna be selling at $150 a kilowatt hour. These come from uh, automotive uh, applications. So they are very, very powerful batteries. They're like 10C batteries, they're power cells. They can put out a ton of powers. So they absolutely ha will have no problem pushing power to a power wall application. These are really, really in good shape. They're coming in around 90 to 95% of the original capacity. So they have very, very little degradation. They're practically new batteries, right? And so, for small time users, if you want to build a power wall or power pack or any little battery, anything below uh, 10 kilowatt hours, these are not the batteries for you because these have a minimum order quantity of one pallet, which is nine of these modules, which even at the smallest of the modules, you're still talking about 10 kilowatt hours, even though the price is really low you know, at $1,500. For some of you out there, that's still too big. And so for you guys, you'll have to check this link here. You can check out those other batteries. Uh, those will come in smaller. They look like this. These are the, the hoverboard batteries or these Boston power cells that come on 12 volt. That's an easier entry level for you guys for doing smaller power packs, smaller power walls, right? But for the rest of us that we're doing 10 kilowatt hours or more, these batteries here are great. First of all, I'm getting worried at the kinds of questions that I'm getting from you guys out there. Uh, you know, what's the f float uh, voltage on these? Uh, it clearly shows that some of you guys out there don't understand that these are lithium ion batteries. They're not lead acid batteries. It's lead acid battery prices, but we are getting uh, lithium batteries right and so because i'm not really offering a complete solution you, you're gonna have to do a little bit of homework and figure out how to use uh lithium batteries and you're gonna have to just watch all my videos my channel is full of videos showing you how lithium batteries work what you have to do how you have to balance them all of that stuff you're gonna have to do that right we're kind of going mainstream when vice and motherboard and cnbc and all these you know uh, big media outlets are doing stories on us and our DIY power wall movement, then it's really quickly getting out of our hands. And now everyone wants to buy these batteries. And so uh, I have a feeling that some of you guys out here watching this, you guys have 
less so much of an interest of becoming a battery expert and so that for that reason I am going to recommend that you guys get a BMS system BMS system for those of you who don't know it's a battery management system it's a computer that's designed to manage your batteries to really look after them check the voltages if they're out of balance and balance them if they're too if they're overcharged then the, the system's supposed to step in and disconnect your battery from wherever is charging it, your charger or whatever other device is charging it. And if it gets over discharge, the same thing. Whatever device that is discharging your battery, it's made to disconnect it, either throttle it back or completely cut the connection so that your batteries don't get hurt. That's what a BMS is. I recommend you get one. There's several companies that are offering one, one that has been really friendly to the DIY community is this guys right here they have several products that will work with some of these modules but not all of them uh, you, it requires if you have access to each individual cell tab the terminals so their products will work for you and you can buy something right now and use it and you know design your system using that bms but i will keep the conversation going as to far as bms the market will open up and there will be more choices. I recommend every single one of you that is not a battery expert to just go ahead and buy one of these systems and try to implement it so that it's a system that it doesn't give you any problems, right? So, so the links that I am going to give you today are just for batteries, nothing else. There's no BMS system, there's nothing, just pure raw batteries. So the next questions that I am going to get is what do they work with? What other equipment do I need? Do I need a charger do i need an inverter i have very limited experience in telling you which equipment will work with these batteries because i haven't gotten to the point where i am able to build my own system i am currently um, gearing up to do that and i definitely will make videos and show you but what the things that i can do is that you can check what ev west did on using their batteries they have a 15 s battery and uh, you can use several of these modules that i'm going to show you today uh, to make a 15S configuration. And so that means that you can use some of the inverters. You can look at that equipment by looking at this video. You can also look at what Peter Matthews is doing with her, with his Powerwall. He, I think, he believe he's using 13 or 14S. And there are several ways that you can do that uh, with using a combination of these uh, modules that I'm gonna offer to you guys today. And so also go look at his videos, uh, go look at his channel and see what uh, type of inverter he's using you know shoot him a question uh, I'm sure he's got a video about that somewhere uh, and the other thing that you can finally do is join the DIY Powerwall community uh, forum that is a thing that Peter has started and is now in the thousands and thousands of uh, members there's a ton of uh, information uh, being shared there in that community and you can very quickly get up and going and learn the basics uh, just so that you can use your brand new batteries, right? All these uh, links are gonna be down in this video. I will include them so that you can go and check them after you check this video. So, batteries, let's go through them. The first ones that we're doing here is the Samsung module. The first module is a 5S module. It measures 10 inches by 7 inches by 6 inches, and it's 24.7 pounds, right? Uh, it uses M6 nuts. These are Samsung cells but the module itself is made by Bosch. And so that's why you'll see in some places Bosch, in some places you'll see Samsung. So it's Samsung is the actual uh, battery cell. And these are 60 amp hours uh, cells. And the module with the 5S, five in series, is obviously of 18.5 volt DC uh, nominal. Chemistry is nic nickel manganese cobalt. The capacity of this module with this five cells is 1.1 kilowatt hours, and these are power cells, 10 Cs. Uh, these work come out to work. Uh, these work out to be about 100 watt hours per kilogram. That is the energy density of this chemistry, right? And so, of course, they have the price. It uh, works out to be $150 per kilowatt hour, and so that one module is 165. Of course, you have to buy nine. There's a minimum of nine, right? The next module is about the same, except the only difference is that there's six cells in series. And so the uh, voltage, nominal voltage of the module is 
uh, volts, right? And so you can use two of those in, in row to make 24 volts, right? To have a 12S. You can use them in combinations uh, to make whatever voltage you need uh, to work with your inverter, uh, whatever inverter you chose to use. And so uh, there's gonna be more videos in the future about that. But for right now, you can go and get those. Uh, the next, the third module is gonna be an LG Chem module. And these are really good. The energy density is much better on these with 138 watt hours per kilogram. The only problem is of course, that it comes assembled in this 16S module. So 16 cells in series, uh, it brings the voltage to around 60, 59.2. That's uh, nominal. Fully charged is somewhere around 64, 65 volts, something like that. Uh, and so you have to keep that in mind when you're buying this module. The other thing is to know about this is that it doesn't have as easy access to the battery terminal. So if you're going to buy this module, make sure that you're going to have that. It's going to be a, a bit of a challenge to find a BMS system that works with it uh even though you have the bms uh connectors and leads and stuff um the third module here is the johnson control and those are wired slightly different these are probably my favorite one of all because they have the same 138 watt hour per kilogram so the energy density is there uh but the other thing is that you can uh they come already with a built-in chill plate that those two hoses on the end there are water uh, inlets and outlets so that means you can put liquid in there and then cool the cells if you wanted to run them hard usually in a power wall application you don't have to but you know if you put this in some other application like automotive or something then you might want to you might have to actually use the liquid cooling if you're running your your cells hard enough where they're gonna create heat uh, the other cool thing about these cells is that they're 30 amp hours right and they're really they're kind of small and you have access to all of the uh interconnects uh, the the battery terminal so that you can use all of the so you can use the bms that i'm linking for it and the other thing is that you can don't have to use the 13 the 12s configuration that's there you can actually you know remove one from the other side and or undo these packs and set them up different and then have like 13s, 14s, 15s, you know, 20s, 30s. If I were to do these and put them in like my bus, for example, then I would do a 30s, and then do a bunch of strings of those, and then connect them in in, in parallel, and then uh, you know I would essentially have the same thing that I have right now with the uh, Tesla modules. And so these are really good. Uh, they come in this module, which is 48 volts times two, right? So you can actually connect both sides and then make uh you know i don't know now what is it 48 96 volt if you wanted to uh and of course these sell for 375 dollars plus shipping there's a minimum order quantity of nine with these ones also so it works out to be the same 150 dollars per kilowatt hour great price great batteries all right and then there are also available a few other little accessories like these tyco electronics contactors these are essentially contactor is just a big switch. It's a solenoid. Uh, you you put 12 volts into the little connector there. To, uh, activate the coil that will connect the two main posts there. And so it's a switch. If you put 12 volts there, then it connects the high power connection. It's rated about 350 amps, 400 volts, and it's a tiny little thing, about two inches by two inches by two inches. Weights about one pound. Uh, and there's use, this has the street value of like $130 or something like that. If you were to buy that one contactor in, you know, any place that sells this sort of stuff. Here, where you selling it for about $49, um, about half the price because it's used. But it's in, you know, there's plenty of life on those. They last a long time. Um, also, along with that is the laminated copper bus bars. These are the connectors between uh, the modules if you were to want these type of connectors in in your application looks really 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 professional and really good and it's really easy to do there's about four different lengths of this guys and so they were selling them for four or five six or seven dollars 
which works out to be cheaper than if you were to buy the equivalent size uh, cable um, that could carry, you know, that could carry the same amount of current, right? Uh, I think you would pay about that much per foot. Next are balancing cables. So the LG Chem modules have balancing wire harness um, and they have two connectors, different types of connectors on one side, but basically you can have an individual, so you have access to individual cell terminals through these little cables. And in the future, there will be a BMS system that you will just be able to plug into the other side of this connector and then but and and that's in the future so if you wanted to get your batteries uh and design your system and by that time maybe the system will be available then that's great you will also be able to use uh the samsung modules also have their balanced wire harnesses and they're slightly different they're different connectors or whatever but they do the same thing you'll have to work out the pin outs because i don't have that i actually figured them out once before but I don't have that information in front of me so you'll have to do a little bit of homework and if someone else does it I'm definitely will share it with you guys and that is about it uh, remember you are buying these batteries from a company called tech direct I don't own any of these batteries in fact I don't even have any of these batteries with which is kind of unfortunate because if I had them then I could work myself on building power walls using these batteries and record the whole thing step by step and give you guys instructions, right? I do plan to do that in the future, but I'm just not ready to buy any of these batteries. Uh, remember, the best way for you guys to help me uh, do uh, some of these projects is by becoming my Patreon. 100% of that money that goes in there, I use it to put back into these projects, and that way I can make more videos and then show you guys all the information that you guys seek, right? So, thank you for watching this video. Thank you to all my current patrons. Stay tuned for a lot more projects coming up in the near future. And we'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye.